Welcome back to the channel. This is Sai Vatka from Divine Tarot. This reading is going to be your almost personal reading, all signs included. Uh, if you guys are in a not so good relationship with your partner, mostly soulmate and twin flame, right from now, uh, let's take up till the 20th. Okay. So, yes, all that I need to know about your person and situation. So, you versus them in terms of what's happening. With the Ace of Pentacles right now for many of you, you guys could be very focused on having your finances back on track. Okay, you guys are very focused on your stability or uh, your financial success. With Page of Wands, I do not know if you guys are waiting for them to message you, but you guys are waiting for someone to reach out. Okay. With seven of cups uh, that could be the confusion there is a major trigger going on uh, which is causing you this confusion rather okay in terms of what's happening with them with ten of wands i i see them just burdened by the situation okay uh, not be uh, being able to think right not being able to do anything about it not being able to take any sort of strong action towards this connection Sorry. With four of pentacles, mostly I see them closed off and not having the energy, rather the strength to be reaching out. Okay. With two of wands, I see them remaining at crossroads. I don't see them quitting on the connection, but I see them more of just waiting uh, and just wanting to take more time. Okay. In terms of what's happening with you, some of you guys might be talking in uh, terms with someone else altogether. You guys could be having an option. With the Ace of uh, Wands, you do have an opportunity to uh, to have a relationship with someone else in this coming quarter. Okay, but that depends on you whether you want to hold on to the past situation or you want to look forward to something new in your life. Okay. In terms of them, what what's happening with them? With Knight of Swords, they are mostly looking forward to reach out to you or wanting to know more about you if it's not to, through directly reaching out. With Knight of Cups, I still see them wanting ha uh, wanting to have a relationship and wanting to uh, look forward to this connection. So, so the energy is still to be, uh, you know, getting back with you. But in terms of you, you might be slightly confused whether you should wait or whether you should look forward towards the next connection in your life. Okay. Some of you guys have already met that new person. Some of you guys are yet to meet that person. For many of you, I do see a potential Gemini or a fire sign coming in. That is Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. Okay. In terms of their feelings for you currently. We have Eight of Cups. For now, I see this person emotionally being quite defensive okay i don't see them wanting to open up their emotions to you wanting to you know express th those feelings for you with queen of uh, swords if you're asking me this person comes off very detached very very detached okay uh someone who has a poker face now and sometimes most of the times you do believe that this person doesn't care for you doesn't have any shit for you because of their poker face because of how they pretend or how they behave when they're around you Okay, but that is all uh, I would say intentional. Okay, they, they want to behave that way. With five of pentacles for now, they feel ghosted or they feel sidelined by you in terms of their major intentions for you. With the eight of swords for now, they feel stuck to the situation, but moreover, their intention is to reach out to have a conversation. If they haven't reached out, why haven't they reached out yet? Knight of Pentacles, you know, they are deciding and they are still deciding. So they're still waiting on the perfect opportunity. And that's the reason why they haven't reached out. They wanted to, but they could not. If they have reached out, what's their intention so far? If they have reached out, they will want to continue. I see this person wanting to take you out on a date, wanting to be around you, uh, like want, wanting to also get physical with you if, if it's possible. Okay. In terms of you, what's up with you? With Ten of Swords, you you feel like this person has backstabbed you. This person has destroyed you. This person has literally killed you. Okay. 
in terms of your intention yes you do miss them but you mostly feel like it's time to look elsewhere you mostly feel like it's time to stop uh focusing on them stop thinking about them letting go of this connection that's your major focus but you do miss them okay there's no denying in that with the empress card your major focus is going to be rebuilding yourself focusing on yourself to get that validation coming from your own self that you can do it you are capable of it and you will move forward that's what you're focusing on for now or you're wanting to focus on for now okay in terms of like what are the major intentions for now in terms of coming forward with two of pentacles they still seem dicey i mean they do want to but they still seem dicey so what are they dicey about mostly do we see a third party no the diciness is mostly about them having to think practically and emotionally practically they feel like they should wait emotionally they can't stay away from you okay the star card they still want to stay hopeful and believe that relationship is possible with you that you will still accept them back okay in terms of how do they view you now With Knight of Wands, they are still very interested in you and very much sexually attracted to you. Okay. In terms of connection, in terms of connection, they still look at this as a twin flame soulmate relationship. If they are not very familiar with the term twin flame or label twin flame, and they might just look at you as a soulmate, something very much deeper. Okay. In terms of what are they willing to offer for now? We are speaking throughout the month of October. With Nine of Cups, they do want to be emotionally available. They do want to open themselves up to you. Okay. With the Queen of Pentacles, they also want to be loyal to you. They want to give in to you. With Five of Swords, however, they still do uh, have doubts sometimes, negative thinking patterns which cause in issues. But I still believe because of their intense need for independence they have messed up this connection rather sabotaged this connection time and time again they had this intense need or other well, uh, need for validation that you know they can have their own life and that is what has messed it up you know someone cannot have their own life and at the same time want a relationship as well you got to choose a one you know you either want to enjoy your life and stay single and have fun or you look forward to the connection and uh, you know like possibly invest you know your person wanted both and they could not do both okay for now i still see them mostly wanting to get back with you but a part of them like 30 percent 35 percent of them still wants to have their fun okay in terms of the blockages what do we see happening blockages just like i've told you with the devil card their intense need for validation coming from others uh, be it attention be it sexual approval or a uh, feeling like someone still needs them still wants them okay uh, their addictions for like wanting uh, like validations from other people through uh, accepting them okay with queen of cups i also feel like emotionally this this person has always been manipulative they've always uh, used their emotions against you like sometimes they always wanted you to express your feelings for them but they have never expressed it for you okay so yes with the hermit card the major blockage that i see is them not being uh, mature enough to handle a relationship they've always been uh, very much you know, like having that playboy, playgirl energy, you know, like fuck boy, fuck girl energy, you know, like always wanted to have their fun, okay, in terms of what's going to happen in the coming week. With temperance card, I do see you being in a lot balanced energy as the uh, week progresses. With nine of wands, I do feel for many of you, you want to give up, but you haven't given up, okay. With Page of Pentacles, I do believe for many of you, it's like you will want to start something else in your life. Now, be it relationship, be it work, be it whatever. But you will want to stay open towards something else in your life. At least you're going to take baby steps towards it. Okay. In terms of what's blocking you from moving forward. Ten of Pentacles, you have the... Uh, you had an idea that this was your person, that this was supposed to be it. And now you cannot see someone else in their, uh, you know, like uh, replacing that picture. 
okay that person you always imagine this weirdo being your partner this weirdo to fulfill your uh, relationship you know dreams and goals whatever that is and now when this person is uh, you know not giving and you you cannot completely move on from that idea it's not the person that you ha- you're uh, finding hard to move on rather the idea that someone else will taking over okay i hope that makes sense with the world card you you have yet to come to a closure about the situation you haven't come to a closure you haven't decided okay with my with king of wands a part of you is still very much attracted to the other person okay and you do not find other people attractive for long enough it's like a month a week a couple of weeks and you are you're good but then as the time goes you feel like no this is not my person you know nothing compares to this this weird even if this weird was toxic uh, you cannot uh, like you know get over this weird this this weird made you feel very differently and the other new person doesn't quite make you feel that way okay for a while it's good it's 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 fun at the time you know it starts getting boring for you right and that's when you start thinking about this person again and it's a cycle what you got to do to move on from this person is is it possible with king of pentacles you you'll need to focus more like be practically present in your life more uh, you'll have to know your worth you'll you have to know what uh, you can offer okay and uh, of like more of what you are deserving okay with three of wands you need to explore your options you haven't quite explored your options you haven't given it a fair try and with six of pentacles uh you've been so used to such a relationship which are toxic in nature one sided that any healthy relationship start, uh, starts looking boring for you and you have to get over that that fact okay with page of cups um the moment someone starts giving in equally you start doubting it <laughs> and moreover you're waiting for this person to reach out unless this person reaches out and speaks to you or gives you any sort of message you will still keep holding on to that idea okay so in terms of that let me pick few spirit messages for you the first message dreams coming true opportunity beckons okay so yes now what does this mean okay let's take this one strong energies for success are around you as new opportunities are opening opening up uh, tap into this energy to fire up your relationship and bring all that you desire regarding matter of the heart call down the divine flame to ignite your passion and show you the way to achieve your deepest wishes don't wait for other person to make a move take that initiative be bold okay that is what it's telling you okay second thing we have for you let's take this one opportunity beckons often in affairs of the heart you may become complacent even bored with what you have you forget to see the magic of your interactions with others and fail to invest time and effort to maintain the human relationship okay loving links if you been looking for relationship for some time without success you may become delusioned or discouraged no longer believing that relationships will manifest that means that you're slowly losing that faith in relationships or even believing that relationships are possible for you your enthusiasm is diminishing and you no longer provide the universe with the energy needed to produce the relationship that is needed for you okay next we have is dreams coming true that is this card okay uh, this card is a contentment and wishes being fulfilled it suggests that you are now entering a time of peace joy and satisfaction but be clear about what you want in your relationships to look like because your wishes may be granted soon but remember to think positively and think healthy okay uh, meanwhile when you like universe is expressing and sending you this blessing of gratitude uh, your dreams will come true but you need to sit back and enjoy okay so yes let's take a couple of love messages i missed out on something so good the next person you allow in your life is so lucky they know that they have missed an opportunity with you okay i want to fight for this connection 
but I don't know how. I seek strength and courage. Allow me to work on me so I can work on us. The last message we have for you. Each day I think about how I would be like uh, if we were together. One day I will be ready to surrender. So sometimes they do want to surrender, but they all they always feel like they are not ready for it. You know what I'm saying? Okay. I spent a lot of time thinking about you, wishing things were different. Okay. So that is all we have for you today. Please keep in mind that this readings are very general and for some of you it may not resonate at all. But if it does, be kind enough to hit that like button because that goes a long way. Also, if you are new to the channel, please do subscribe. Uh, if you want a personal reading with me, you can reach out via WhatsApp or my Instagram handle. But do not believe in anyone who DMs you. I will never DM you for a reading. Okay? I only have three handles and I'll, uh, and I'll mention them below. Also, uh, all those who are wanting to get a reading, we do have a 20% discount going on. Since it's my birthday month, I am going to be turning a certain later 20s age <laughs> tomorrow. That is 18th of fucking October. So yes, I'm a fucking Libra for God's sake. And yeah, that is all coming from my side. And I hope to see you soon, guys. Cheers. Love you.